Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of season 3 of Hardcore Modded Skyrim with Fromith. Today we're going to be continuing with our Khajiit Thief Cal. Um, he is on the s either second or third quest um, of the Thieves Guild, depending how you perceive it, because he started off joining the Thieves Guild, so he didn't have to do the very first one. Yes, yes, you're the best infiltrator, except you're not, and you never really do much. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Yep. You want my opinion? Okay, just we can get out there and start. And while you're at it, make a little That's bit of That's something we could do. Um, is start idea, eh? making this place better. Um, I would have to look into it more because I don't remember how many jobs in each town you have to do. But we can build this place up with shops, and that would give us some levels early on, so that way we didn't run into too much, <laughs> you yeah, know, I did. That a shit that's just went. gonna wreck us, you that know. Can you believe that? It was like he was daring us to come. But they're well, kind of boring, um, so you know. That's how I slipped in there. Should they wouldn't be, be as there. interesting as the main quest line for sure. Awesome. Now we have the right. optional. Take another uh, job so we can both make some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it would give us money. That's Even true. That is very true. Oops. And this is not where I meant to go. I don't know why the ratway vaults are just like right there. I don't know. You don't really use them for the Thieves Guild, if I remember right. You use them for the main quest, but not the Thieves Guild. And then the Ragged Flagon's over here. I feel like it... I don't know. Not the Ragged Flagon, the, uh, the Thieves Guild area. Maybe, I guess it makes sense for them to be the more, uh, hidden one. But, at the same time, they're the more important one for if you're down here. Either way, let's go do our first job. Always liked this exit. This is just a, such a badass way to leave. Like, oh yeah, we just have a tomb we can exit. It's no big deal. It's just awesome. Um, I think I already have enough lock picks, so we should be good for going like to hear it for down, uh, going to the mission yes. straight away. But at the same time, oh, since I didn't do that quest, I think he's I still here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why won't Helga acknowledge me? Maybe not. I don't know who that guy is. You gonna buy? See for yourself. No, I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm going to sell you my excess armor. That's all I'm going to do. Get some gold out of that. Take that. Take that. I might keep the arrows just in case. Ready to spend more gold. I mean, as a sneak character. You know, marksmanship goes really well with that, but at the same time, even with Skyrim Redone, I think Sneak Marksman is a little bit of an overpowered class, just because if you do it right, you can freaking kill anything from afar without it noticing. So, kinda, it's kind of OP, but oh well. Um, this is a little sketchy, just because this water might, it, it probably isn't freezing cold, but... You know, it might be freezing cold, and if it is, that's gonna hurt our survivability. I mean, we can just get out of it. The water is cold. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting out of it. Alright, um... Yeah. This, this is not really cheating. I don't feel it's cheating. E anyway, um, what I'm about to do, you'll see. Hopefully I get over here before it gets too cold. I mean, I'm about to be going inside, so I should be fine. Yeah, it didn't seem to have too much of an effect, but let's go ahead and jump. And then jump. <laughs> and we got up here without having to aggro all those guys or go through the sewers. And we can just go straight in. Ooh, an expert lock, though. That kind of sucks. Because if you guys are um, not new to the series, then you know... I am not the best with lockpicks, although I don't know if anyone is really. Hmm, that one was a fairly easy one, though, to be honest. We're definitely going to need to sneak through here, because we cannot afford to fight all these guys. Don't believe all this is necessary. Okay, let me get the details of the quest, because I don't really know off the top of my head necessarily okay um, clear out the safe 
which we can just lock pick and then burn the three hives down. Alright, again, I believe everyone starts with it. Yeah, we have the fire spell, so we should be able to light them on fire without a problem. I wonder why everyone just gets that fire spell. Even if you're not really magic. <coughs> just just a random cough. Ignore it. Look at the slick tail. I think that's because it's wet. It looks a little weird. Oop. Oop. No, he didn't see me. No, 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 no. He didn't see me. What was that? <sighs> oh, he just opened that gate for me, though. Is someone there? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Wow, we have a lot of potions. Okay, this fight's not gonna be too hard just because of that. I mean, I hate to spam potions, but we couldn't. Have, we wouldn't. We didn't need this fight. We. It would have been a bad thing to get into, but. Good thing is you don't really get in trouble for getting into combat, so eh, free XP, I guess. I mean, they can't really make you get in trouble because the last guy down here, unless you're invisible, you can't avoid him. I mean, so there's no way we could have really done it without causing some aggro. Now, since we've already caused some aggro, do we want to just get the XP? I think that might be best for our character, to be honest. So I'm just gonna try and sneak up on these guys. So I can get in one sneak hit. Yep. And then just boom! Nice! Unarmed is pretty badass. <laughs> and we got a level out of it. Awesome. Yeah, this was definitely the way to go. <laughs> oh, nope, not heavy weaponry. If heavy weaponry had like an unarmed tree too, that would be pretty cool. Like if it was in both. I don't know, I think it would be interesting. But for now, we're already doing pretty freaking hunky-dory. And we get this chest since we killed him, which is kind of nice. Kinda. Kinda. Oh, wow, I'm really bad at lockpicking. I don't know why I just kept trying. It's not like it was even... Oh, I hate when it's so close. <clears throat> it's just aggravating, like, when it's like, Oh, so close, but you're not quite there yet. Keep trying. <sighs> okay. How many lockpicks do I have? 43. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's like the, the lock at the end is, oh really? It was just turn it? Well, it was that time, but the uh, the safe at the end of this cellar is like a master lock, I think. Or not maybe a master lock, maybe something a little less difficult, but still, it's, it's a difficult one if I remember right. Just can't, it can't just be done hunky-dory. Oh, there's no one even in here. Oh, hide. Hide is very useful if you guys know Frostfall at all. And this is a shit ton of free hide. So we're going to be able to make some awesome stuff once we're out of here. Like cloaks and satchels and all sorts of fun stuff. Satchels are helpful too. They increase your carrying weight. Really? This place is that short? I felt like it was a little longer. Boom. Boom. It's just... Let me just pulverize your face a little bit. I feel like it needs to be beat in a bit. Wow, that was pretty easy, though. And now we get all this loot. So here's a novice chest. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, except I'm going to break the lockpick, aren't I? I broke a lockpick on a novice chest. Yep. Feel free to tell me how shit I am in the comments section. Because <laughs> um, I already know it, but eh, go ahead and tell me if you feel the need. <laughs> I 
I don't mind. Ah, I just hate lock picking. So maybe a thief wasn't a good idea for someone who's not very good at lock picking. Ooh, there we go. Found ya. I mean, it's just a matter of trial and error. So that's what bothers me that you can't just be like, hmm, I know how to do this. Like, with lock picking in Oblivion, you know, you could get good at it. Skyrim, you can get better, but like at the same time, you have to kind of just keep trying things. Ah, oh, and that was so close. I hate when it breaks easily, though, like, where you don't get a second try like that. Like, okay, that was the wrong direction to go, apparently. Apparently, I'm going too far. Uh, like, right here. Okay, well, I'll take it. I will take that. Alright, now let's... Let's just go out and kill these guys, because why not? Now we go through the sewers. They come in handy. We're still a little damp, but uh, that should wear off pretty quick. I think that's just the rain. I don't want to deal with the skeevers. Like, they don't give you enough XP, and they give you infection, which kind of blows. Not infection, disease. And diseases are not fun. They they kind of really suck with realistic needs and diseases. Unfortunately, it is daylight, and we can't just wait. So, we might just rush it if we get caught, which we're probably going to. Are we already detected? Never should have come here. You can tell me that for sure. Oop. I feel like that sword's coming down. Let's do a preemptive health potion. Awesome. Getting those levels up level ups. That's quite awesome. Let's go ahead and get Guard Breaker, just because abilities are a lot cooler than increased damage by 10%. My weaponry is already high enough to start going into this too, so, badass. I feel like our skills are going to be going into unarmed a lot at the uh, lower levels for sure. Are there any more of them? Uh, yeah, I see one way over there, but... Don't know if there are any more right here. Hmm. Works for me. I think I can set fire to these things without them noticing me, too. Because there's not even one over here yet. So let's go ahead and. Oh. Not many. Did not mean to go into there. Uh, let's go ahead and go to flames. And. Oh, wrong one. It looks really weird when you're sneaking, just fire. Let's go ahead and de-equip that. And we need to favorite unarmed, otherwise we're not going to have it equipped sometimes, and we're going to wonder why we're not doing, you know, appropriate damage. But unarmed is a little overpowered, I think, just because, look at that. Um, especially with Khajiit, my damage is 43. I mean, per hand. So, like, if I do the, uh, the, the, like, dual strike, um, combo that you can do, I can freaking wreck face a little bit. Oh, they're all coming over here. See? Wreck face. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this. I don't like this fight. It's getting excessive. I can do this all day. Yep, I'm sure you can. I'll and I can run all day. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Whoop! 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 That's not what I wanted. Let's 
get out of here. Ooh, we were trapped there for a minute. Worried me a bit. Oh, did we make it? Yep, we did. Yep, there we go. Invisibility. I don't know if it really helped us there, but uh, I, I kind of cornered myself, which was a horrible, horrible thing to do. Like, that that could have been the death of a character which should not be dying this soon. Because we are not that weak to uh, be succumbing to those mercenaries, especially when you don't really have to fight them. All you need to do is just run, you know? I mean, you're not even supposed to fight them, really. Like, they're supposed to be tough for that reason. But, uh, yeah, got some levels out of them. So it was worth it. Very much worth it. Otherwise, we're not going to get many levels if we don't kill things. Because, you know, as a thief, it's a lot of stealing. Not much killing. Which doesn't add up to experience. Or n at least not experience in unarmed, which is kind of what we need. I mean, you only need 20 to go pretty far into the unarmed tree, so that's nice. That's a good, um, helpful little thing to have. Alright, let's go ahead and just run around here now that we have the other entrance, and we'll turn in this quest and call it an episode. Um, it does kind of suck only being able to do one quest an episode, but, I mean, Skyrim quests aren't supposed to be short. I mean, this game's meant to make you go for a while, you know? It's not supposed to be a game you just beat in a day, okay, so a it makes sense. Well, Hello, Brynjolf. Golden Glow Thief. Let me take a look at what Arengar saw. He has no idea. If only the parchment had the buyer's name. Black. Yes, yes. If only but it for did. Now, you're off to speak to Maven Black. Don't sound so eager. It's not. A, that's between. Don't worry about me. Yeah, of we'll course. go talk to Maven here in a second. There's plenty more. Okay. Right wow, fifty gold. That's all I got. I got more from during the job than that. Oh well, money is money, and I like money. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can show your support by leaving a like or a comment down below. And if you want to see more of this series or any others I create, then I recommend subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.